Welcome to the Tesla Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is the 14th of September 2024, and we've got a lineup of intriguing stories from the world of Tesla and electric vehicles. As always, links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. Let's start with a recent incident involving a Tesla semi-truck on California's Interstate 80. Last month, a crash led to a significant fire that required a staggering 50,000 gallons of water to extinguish, causing a 15-hour closure of the highway. The National Transportation Safety Board is currently investigating the cause. According to a preliminary report, Scal Fire used both water and aerial fire retardant to manage the flames. The Tesla Semi was on its way from a warehouse in Livermore, California, to the company's battery factory in Sparks, Nevada, driven by a Tesla employee. Notably, Tesla's driver assistance systems, autopilot and full self-driving, were not operational at the time. The incident highlights the challenges of extinguishing fires involving electric vehicle batteries, known for their tendency to reignite if not properly cooled. In other news, Tesla's Cybertruck sales have been on the rise. In July 2024, the Cybertruck saw a remarkable 61% increase in sales month over month, with 5,175 registrations. This surge contributed to a 1.0% increase in overall vehicle registrations for Tesla during the same period. The Cybertruck has been a standout in the electric pickup truck market, outperforming competitors like the Rivian R1T and Ford F-150 Lightning. Despite its premium pricing, due to the ongoing Foundation Series edition, the Cybertruck's sales have thrived, indicating strong demand even at higher price points. Analysts suggest that while incentives drive overall EV sales, the Cybertruck's success seems to defy this trend, as it sells at a $20,000 premium above its MSRP. The Cybertruck's dominance has played a pivotal role in the 18% year-over-year improvement in U.S. electric vehicle registrations. Now, let's shift gears to Tesla's full self-driving, FSD, version 12.5 rollout for vehicles equipped with Hardware 3. This update has encountered significant issues, leading to frustration among owners. Initially, Elon Musk promised that HW3 would support full self-driving capabilities, but recent updates have not met expectations. After introducing Hardware 4, Tesla focused on optimizing FSD for HW4 vehicles, leaving HW3 owners waiting. Although Musk indicated that adapting FSD v12.5 for HW3 would take about 10 days, the rollout has been delayed, with only a limited number of HW3 vehicles receiving the update. Most HW3 owners haven't seen new updates since version 12.3.6 earlier this year. The situation has led to growing discontent among HW3 owners, who feel neglected and are questioning Tesla's commitment to delivering on its self-driving promises. Lastly, an interesting comparison has been made between the Tesla Model S Plaid and Formula One cars. The Tesla Model S Plaid boasts impressive acceleration, achieving 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 2 seconds, while F1 cars can reach 0 to 120 miles per hour in just 2.2 seconds. However, in terms of top speed, F1 cars dominate, reaching up to 230 miles per hour, with a record of 247 miles per hour, compared to the Tesla's maximum of 200 miles per hour. Handling and agility are crucial in racing. F1 cars are designed for high-speed cornering with advanced aerodynamics while the Tesla, although not built for racing, offers good handling due to its instant torque and all-wheel drive. This comparison highlights the distinct engineering approaches of electric vehicles versus traditional racing cars. That's all for today's episode of the Tesla Daily News. We hope you found these stories insightful and engaging. Remember, you can find links to all the stories in the episode notes. Join us next time for more updates from the world of Tesla and electric vehicles. Until then, drive safe and stay curious.